There was a time when schools were completely segregated until the sacrifices of nine courageous students made the reality we see today possible. Little Rock Nine uh, was a, a, a name given to us by the media in 1957. And that really had to do with the fact that um, nine of us um, elected to go to Little Rock Central High School, all based on uh, the rights that we had through Brown versus Board of Education. The youngest of the nine would soon become the first black female to graduate three years later, despite what she endured. A mob was of protesters had started across the street from the school. And as the days went on, uh, in fact, the commanding officer of the Arkansas National Guard came to us because we had been blocked from going up the sidewalk to go to the school and stated that um, to go home, that we weren't uh, allowed to go to school there. And by the direction of the governor. Thanks to President Eisenhower, the Little Rock Nine exercised their right to a better education. However, their lives were at risk. I had a bodyguard that took me from one classroom to another. Now, even though that they were there, Kids will be kids. They will find ways to harass you, to uh, terrorize you, or what have you. A lot of things happen, you know, push down steps, uh, spat upon, uh, ink in my chair, spittle in the chair, all these things you had to learn how to navigate through. And um, I was able to do that and still do well in school. Lanier, who currently resides in Denver, Colorado, advises students to value receiving an education in a classroom full of diversity. You really have to know who you are and whose you are and, and be centered about what you believe in. And that passion will take you to where you want to be.